Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. There's two things I want to talk to you about. First one, everybody keeps asking me how to use this power foam. I am going to do a video on how to use it. Kind of run through the directions real quick. As you want to protect the painted surfaces, you want to ensure it is in a well ventilated area because it is going to smoke and it does smell. You're going to run the engine to operating temperature and remove the air cleaner. While the engine is running, you're going to spray directly into the throttle body as fast as possible without stalling the engine. Then you're going to shut it off and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and replace the air cleaner. Then you're going to test drive afterwards and it is going to smoke like crazy. Uh, this stuff really does work. I will be doing a video on performing it. I do have other videos on how to perform it. Um, I can link that up here so you can see that. But this right here, I'll link a video to my 10,000 mile oil change too. Um, we've been testing this and at 10,000 miles, a little over 10,000 miles, the oxidation value was at 25, which means this, it was almost done at 10,000 miles. And somebody had brought to my attention that uh, I need to run signature series in my vehicle. Signature series is really good. A couple years back, signature series did not do that well in my engine. It's just for some reason, it didn't sound right or it didn't feel right but that was years ago the formulas have changed since then and i'm glad they did bring it to my attention and i'm really sorry i never said this before yes twenty thousand miles or one year between oil changes okay you can see it clear as day right there if you scroll down here scroll if you move down here protects twenty thousand miles or one year whichever comes first in normal service 12,000 miles or one year, whichever comes first, in severe service. So what does it mean with severe service? Severe service would be a fleet, a taxi, police car, a lot of idling. A uh, turbocharged engine is technically considered severe service. Even though I don't drive my truck like a race car, um, it is turbocharged. And a turbocharger will eat up some oil. It, it will break it down pretty quick. So this oil at 12,000 miles and all of my oil testing, it is doing its job. It is holding up to its name. 20,000 miles or one year, but over here in the fine print, 12,000 miles in severe service. So it is doing its job and kudos to Amsoil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the oil at 5,000 miles and then I'm gonna put signature series in and I'm gonna run it for like 100 miles and then I'm gonna change that out and I'm gonna put more signature series back in so I can get a good test on signature series motor oil. We're done testing the extended life. I know it can go the 12,000 mile. I know it can. And I've proved that time and time again. I've gone 4,000, 7,000, 8,000, 10,000, and it's holding up and it's doing what it's supposed to, especially for severe service being turbocharged. Awesome job. If you guys want some, I'll leave a link probably across this video or in the description where you can pick up AMS oil. So now that I'm done testing that, I'm gonna be testing the signature series now, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing, a 5,000, a 7,000, an 8,000, 10,000, 12,000, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna keep it as plain and simple as possible. It's, I'm gonna be using the same kind of oil filter, which will be the AMS oil, oil filter. And we're just gonna keep doing testing like we did with this. And we're gonna see if we can go further or what is my cutoff point um, or my, what is my oxidation value at where I should stop using the oil? What mileage? Cause it's going to change for everybody. I'm not telling you to go 10,000. I'm not telling you to do 3000. This is fun to test. It's my personal vehicle. Okay. Back to the power foam. Yes, I am going to show you how to do it. I have a vehicle that I got to get in here and I'm going to do it. Um, the reason I like this stuff so much is you can spray it just on anything really and it's going to foam and it's going to knock the crud off of it be honest with you um, like i said it's tough foaming action and this goes inside the throttle body and then it gets sucked into the intake and then the reason they tell you to turn it off for 10 to 15 minutes it allows it to soak on those intake valves especially in direct injected engines and then it burns all that stuff out of there it, it gives it time to clean all right see just an example you can see i just sprayed it right there here i'll spray it right here shake the can and you're going to be able to see and just all the nastiness just falls off with it. 
So imagine what it's doing inside of a hot engine. See it right there? I'm gonna let that sit like that. We'll come back to that in just a second. So it does come with the straw. I don't like using the straw. Sometimes the straw will like to pop out. Don't wanna do that. I'll just spray it right out of the top of the can there. You are gonna use the whole can when you do it. All right. So still in my little drain bucket there. You can see it running. See how it's got all that nasty and it's just running down the side. And that's just sprayed it inside of an oil bucket. You can see where it was right there. How it's... Obviously it's going to be down there because it mixed with all the oil in the bottom of the pan. But I wish I had like a dirty throttle body or something hanging around so I could spray that off and show you. But that is how the power foam works. Um, I am going to be testing the Signature Series instead of the XL. We're done testing the XL. That's what's in the truck now. I am gonna go 5,000, just so I'm not wasting money on that. Gonna put the signature series in it, go about 100 miles, dump that out, and then put a signature series in it again, and then that way I got signature series. There's the power foam. You can see what it did inside the bucket. It's still kind of running down. But imagine if, it's, if that was a hot engine, what it does to the intake and the intake valves. Really, really good on direct injected engines because when you put stuff in the tank, direct injected engines do not spray fuel over the intake valves. So the stuff in the tank is not going to clean that. That's where that power foam comes into play. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. So there's a little bit of an update, but I will be doing a video actually performing an intake clean with the power foam. So you guys can actually see how it's done. I love you guys. And I'll see you on the next one.